John Morosi joins us right now from Arizona. John, good to see you. Tell me what the Diamondbacks are trying to do to maybe change things up for this game. BK, a lot of changes for manager Tori Lovello and the Arizona Diamondbacks. When you look at their lineup, only three players right now are in the same place they were when we last saw them play in game two in Philadelphia. Very clear reason why. The Diamondbacks have managed just two extra base hits so far in this series, only two innings of multiple hits. You've got to do one or the other, either the slug or string some hits together with some help from the running game and the D-backs known for the running game BK but not a single stolen base attempted so far in this series. I do think we'll see that change with that lineup that you saw on your screen a moment ago. Emmanuel Rivera makes his first start of the series. He will play third base. Evan Longoria now the DH. Tommy Pham, who was bothered by a turf toe, he is good to go to play right field. So a number of changes I really think, BK, watch early in this game to see. Is Cattell Marte on base? Is Corbin Carroll on base? And how can they get the running game going against a left-handed starter mm. in Ranger Suarez? Uh, John, that's an excellent point because like, it's one thing if – like. This Diamondbacks one are a very aggressive team very good base running team and that's been their trademark all year and but also the new rules right they got the two disengagements on your third one you got to throw and it's, you got to get them or it's a balk I, it, it's stunning that it's not happening this year it's even more of a factor tell me about Philadelphia's defense John because remember like early I would say even the first half of last season they were known as a terrible defensive team they look vastly different now. They really do, and we've got to start with Alec Bohm over at third base. Several dazzling plays that he made on a cold night in Philadelphia in game two. A beautiful stop on Gabriel Moreno's would-be single. A really nice fielder's choice. He saw it there a moment ago. And as Alec Bohm told me after the game, it goes back to his work with Bobby Dickerson, one of the best infield coaches in our sport. He's worked so much with Alec to get more comfortable at third base. And let's not forget, the guy who plays first base for the Phillies, Bryce Harper, learned it at the major league level. Yes, he played some at the junior college level, but to learn it as a professional just speaks to Bryce Harper's work ethic, Alec Bohm's work ethic, and Bryce Harper even talked about wanting to play first base because he knew that having Alec Bohm play third on a consistent basis is what was going to be best for the Philadelphia Phillies. So defensively, Offensively, some great storylines right now unfolding for the Philadelphia Phillies. A good point, John, because right, they, they brought in defensive outfielders. That's one way to address it. Brandon Marsh, Pache, as well, Rojas. But the other guys have worked hard to make their defense better, including Bohm, who took a lot of flack uh, famously last year. John, thank you so much. We'll talk to you later.